Hey guys, you may hear my fan in the background because it's hot. <laughs> so hot in Barbados, y'all. So this is now Thursday. Don't get me to lie about the date exactly, but I know it's Thursday, okay? <laughs> so it's almost a week that we've been here. I'm putting on my makeup, so I have on uh, mascara on this lash. And not the bottom, and then on that one. The mascara primer really works. You know what? Let me get my small mirror. I love this Tom Ford um, palette. I love the golds so much. Whoa! It's going down, y'all. It's going down. But I also absolutely love that I can use the mirror because I don't really have a lot of small mirrors. That's why I love these for travel. So I want to come in and talk for you with you for a bit uh, about what is going on with my mom. So in case I didn't tell you before, my mom has cervical cancer and um, she needed to get the surgery, not because it was going to save her, but because she just needed to do that and uh, remove the cervix for other health reasons. In removing the service, they were able to see if the cancer had spread, which it did spread. Guys, we've had some moments that were sad, crying. I'm not trying to cry right now, but when I found that it had spread, it was so sad for me. I wasn't here for the surgery because she went in for a follow-up. Um, because she had COVID at some point. She had planned for the surgery before. This surgery was scheduled. I was supposed to be here about a month ago. But she got COVID. And that pushed the surgery date back. But we didn't expect she would get the next day so quickly. She's at a public facility, um, not private. So we don't have to pay. But I was surprised that she had gotten it 
schedule so quickly. Anyway, so she went like say it was on Monday and she was scheduled for surgery the following Tuesday. I'm recording this but I'm going to make sure I get my mom's permission to even talk about this and I'm trying to be... I'm trying to disclose information without disclosing too much information if you get what I'm saying. So basically, um, she was scheduled and immediately I knew I had to figure out how to get here quickly. Because I wanted to be here, especially for after the surgery. But I was also very worried because my mom, she is partially disabled. She has a lot of different body issues like very weak arms. She has tendonitis, she has carpal tunnel, she doesn't have a lot of um, muscle. Mom, mom also stopped moving around um, a long time ago. I think she just became more sedentary after her automobile accident, which has made it much harder for her because she stays on her sewing machine like all day. She even sits down and cuts um, pieces of, like she cut up the pieces and then she's sitting and she's sewing. So her, um, in that position for too long. That's even, that's not good for us. That's why we've even introduced um, standing desk. If you are someone who type a lot, who are, who's at a desk a lot, it's good to stand and work sometimes rather than just sit. Because you tend to look down when we're typing. Yeah, we do that a lot with our phones and whatnot. So when we get up and we move and we work out, when we do these different activities that cause us to move all of the um, muscles, the tendons in our body, we are helping ourselves to age better so that we can always try to stay more well and I know that that's one of her biggest issues so to add to that she's got the surgery and for some reason I think like the anesthesia and the different medications because she actually used a walker but about seven months ago my mom's actually was at a point where she couldn't move she, she wasn't able to move her arms or her feet she that happened for like about two weeks and then it she regained strength and whatnot. She was doing physical therapy and all that. And this seemed to cause that to happen again. Like she got a, I guess you call it a relapse, to that point where she couldn't move much. So we had a wheelchair, the walker with the wheels and everything. And she's been, at first when we got her from the hospital on, on Sunday, she wasn't able to move. We were doing everything for my mom. So um, Jay has been such a good help. I now see the work that nurses do, home health aides. But you, these people need to be paid well for the work that they do because it's a lot of work. This is now four or five days since she's come home and she is actually moving a lot better. She's getting up on her own and everything, so I'm so happy about that. Um, but I know there are times when she really gets sad Sometimes she'll cry and she doesn't say she's in pain, but I know it's just a very, it's a real situation where you realize that you don't really have control of your life and you don't know what's going to happen. So for me, it's all about giving her the right types of foods, making sure she exercises every day. In fact, yesterday, yesterday it was, I think I was working on a day I had her in the bathroom doing her own thing with her feet. She's in the wheelchair, mind you. She's moving her feet. And yeah, so I'm helping her to, like assisting her with the exercises, moving her arms and her legs and massaging them, especially at night. So I love this balm on there that has like natural ingredients. And then there's like um, eucalyptus. There's a bunch of different things that I are in that oil. I can't call them all though, but one of her very, very close friends, he brought it for her and we used that on her two nights in a row and I think that that rubbing her down with that has really made a difference. So um, a lot of you wouldn't have known before seeing this video, but some of you would have if you work out with me because those are the only people I actually share that with, the information with, because I'm here in Barbados. Obviously, I have a different background. I mean, so I, did, I wanted to explain what was going on, plus my schedule for the workouts that changed. Uh, but I haven't really spoken much to anyone except for people who are really close to me. But I really appreciate all of the warm wishes, all of the prayers. You guys are just amazing people. Those of you who work out with me and those other people who may have reached out because you didn't see me on Instagram much or you know, just realize that I was a little quiet. 
I thank all of you who have reached out, who have sent me your well wishes and really show your concern and your empathy. And that in itself helps to give me and my mom energy because I relay those information back to her and let her know that you guys have been asking for her and praying for her. So I'm just happy to be here. I'm grateful to be able to spend this time with her and help to nurture her, you know, and help to bring her back to her usual self, bring her back to a stronger self, you know? Yeah. Um, I have a week. My mom is resting now, so this actually is an opportunity for me to do a little self-care. So I have this wig, similar to the wig that I had about a year ago. It's a blonde wig. I tried it on before, but it's too big. Like, it's a lot of hair. I walked with it and I said, you know what, I'm actually going to try to cut it down and make it work. So I figure why not do it on camera. If it works, it works. If it doesn't work, my hair still looks good or rather decent. So we're going to work with it, y'all. So this is what the wig looks like right now. It's a lot. I call it the clone, clone hair. <laughs> That's kind of what a clone is wig looks like it said that's usually like a crazy color like pink or something <laughs> you see how big this is come on like it didn't look like this when it came but basically what i did was i combed it out fluffed it out so what i'm going to do now is i am going to try to Cut it down a bit. Ah, jeez. Only problem is I don't think I brought any hairpins. I wasn't thinking, guys. So even if I cut it, actually, let me this up. so you guys can see my entire head. So I don't know if you guys remember the other one I had. Like I literally cut some of the edges and everything, so it kind of like blended in with my own hair. I like here, but this is just too much over here, you know what I mean? So we gonna cut. Blondie. The good thing is this wig only cost about $20. I got it from off of Amazon. You, you would find that, even though this may look this way on me, I find people would buy the same wig and then they look different because I find that these types of wigs come out different every time they create one. Because I've had, I'll try to insert photos or something of the previous wig and what that looked like that looked similar to this in terms of the texture. And these aren't human hair. You know, I mean, if we could get a human hair for 20, a human hair wig for 20 bucks let me know because I would want one <laughs> or two uh, or even more all right so I'm wearing this beautiful robe also for Amazon literally everything I'm wearing right now is Amazon everything so earrings Amazon my necklace is Amazon the robe is Amazon as I prefer to call it it's gonna be a lot of cutting y'all so I might speed up the video and stop chatting so much. So I gotta buy me some hair pins.
All right, so Poxy Brown is here. <laughs> Guys, every time I put on a wig like this, I feel so 70s. Like, you know, the era where we were just proud of our froze. We are still proud of them. But yeah, this is this is a vibe. Jay loves it. Every time I put my wig on like this, he calls me another name. Alright, so let me know what you think. Would you wear a wig like this? This is very similar to the one I had before, but it's a different maker. It's a lot longer, so I had to chop off quite a bit. Let me show you. <laughs> All of this is the hair that I took off. And so, yeah. I will check in again with you guys, hopefully later on today. I think I'm going to get into the pool today. I didn't get in yesterday because the room was falling. It's falling again today, but at least the sun is coming out, so it's in. It's it's going and it's coming. It, that's how it usually is in the Caribbean. Like the rain falls almost every day, but not everywhere, you know. So I probably will be wearing this wig quite a bit for the next couple of days, just to give my hair a break. And I need to get some pins because I usually use like the bobby pins and just make sure that the hair is secure and it will fly somewhere all right guys i will be back oh and i'll leave links to this in my storefront and in the description box guys don't forget to check out my amazon storefront i have a ton of things that you guys are going to love um like my sunglasses in fact you know what let me show you guys the sunglasses that came from amazon so first up are these i absolutely love these and I also got these chains to add so that I can make sure they are on my head at all times because listen, I've been losing sunglasses. Actually, my Tom Ford's, the second pair that I got that I love, absolutely love. You guys, I'll insert a photo of what they look like or something. I left them in Connecticut. I haven't gotten the back as yet. I'm not good with glasses, sunglasses, reading glasses. I just tend to just put them down or put them in a pocket and forget them, something. So I added these. Also bought these from Amazon. In fact, let me clean these up. We got them in a pack. So they came with black, gold, and I think like a mixture of like a pearl looking um like a pearl and a gold <gasps> these are a vibe with my hair i really love how they look and i'm going to be touching this hair a lot sorry every time i look at it i'm going to want to touch it so good so good this is probably my favorite part of the glass that extra piece on the side is so good don't sleep on Amazon I could have spent two three hundred dollars on a pair of sunglasses that look like these with a brand name somewhere on here <laughs> so basically I'll be paying for the name all that's all but these are so good I love them these are actually my faves I'll show you my second faves in a minute so so good leaving the links to these in my storefront and maybe maybe the direct link will be in the description box as well all right so here comes my second favorite now the only thing i don't like about like white glasses is that when you have makeup on it remains on the frame so even my glasses my reading glasses are white the frames are stained so bad from my makeup so here are my second faves. Now these remind me of like you're going to a resort, a ski resort. <gasps> wow. I love them so much. Tell me these aren't alive. <laughs> uh, 
okay? You cannot say that and speak to me. You see me with these sunglasses on, just just walk by, all right? Because I'm truly feeling myself. <laughs> and that, eh. Now everybody can talk with us, shadow. So good, guys. Let's be twins. Grab yourself a pair of those. All right, and then the final pair, they are very similar, but yet different. Now these are more like a, like a khaki off-white color. I wanted something else that looked very similar to those ones. They remind me of the, the ski um, sunglasses that you would wear if you were heading to like the slopes. I don't know about that. These are still slightly different because they have that different framing, different um so when you look at the other ones, they're just a plain white um handle or is that what you call that? Anyway, that part of the frame. Well this is black, which I like the contrast between the two, and it's whiter as well, and then that touch of gold. Well, this one has the gold at the end of the the um, handles. <laughs> what do you call that? Anyway, the part goes over your ear, and then it's all white. But then that touch of gold at the top is such a vibe. I really love it. it just makes it look even more rich. So these are my three Amazon sunglasses. I think the brand I think that these were no longer available but I will check for you because I was looking for the link to give a friend of mine and it was saying sold out and sometimes when these size um, when these styles are sold out they may or may not have them again but if I can find them I will link them but everything else I'm sure they still are available all right meet me at the pool side guys hey guys so i just took some photos in this look i don't have anything new here with me everything i have is pretty much what was in my wardrobe <laughs> except for maybe the sunglasses that i, I purchased uh, from amazon so this set is from um nasty gal yeah, this is from Nasa again. I had to think about it. I was like, oh my God, where is it from? I really like how it paired with this beautiful kimono from um, Fee Noel. Oh, I almost forgot that name too. Jeez. Brain fog is real. Yeah, I loved how it came out. I'll show you what the photos looked like. Um, my photographer, the one and only... Uh, Jay, <laughs> Sir Jay took them for me. They came out really good, so I'm happy with the results. Um, yeah, so I was just able to get content. Something I'm trying to do in between everything else is just getting content, like filming the videos and taking some photos. So good. These um, sandals that I'm wearing are from Jamaica. I just don't remember the brand. Any Jamaican who see these sandals may know the brand. It's a very well-known Jamaican brand. Um, the lady, she creates these beautiful sandals. Like, if you're Jamaican, you already know. Love them. I've had these now for maybe three or four years. And this is my look. So I'm gonna try to get um, into the pool like I promised, but the rain came again. In fact, I took these photos that I'll be showing you while it was raining. Rain is everywhere. Raining in New York, raining here, like, yeah. <laughs> this is our, this is, this is clearly our rainy season. Decided to show you guys what this looked like without the um, kimono. Now I decided to wear it pretty low. That whole low-waisted vibe is so in right now. And I like that I can do that with this. Such a vibe. And I was wearing it like as a halter top. So instead of having the straps up, I let them down as well. 
just to make my stomach covered just a little bit more you know oh sorry just a little bit i love these bracelets you guys would have seen me wear these types of bracelets for a long time ignore the bed and everything on top of it so these bracelets are from a street fair in um new york that i purchased so long i got a ton of them like i got so many bracelets that i got from street fairs some made of wood some made of this material which is like brass or copper or something yeah brass and um yeah and then some others that have like they almost have like this indian vibe to them yeah so good so tell me if you prefer the set wearing wearing it low like this or if you prefer it high which is your favorite look low or high i mean i like both both are vibe so if you feel like your stomach isn't flat enough you can definitely pull this all the way up which is something that i sometimes i feel like i'm a little bit more bloated so then i will pull it higher hey guys so you're probably going to hear the tv in the background sorry about that so here is my next look this is my swimsuit that i got from a brand called we are ha i've had this swimsuit for ever so i'd be surprised if they still have this but if they do i will definitely link it for you i like that it has like this dominatrix look to it you can open up the front more if you want to display more cleavage or you can bring it really really tight um it's already a little tight for me so um I can't bring it in too tight or everything will be like squished. Then it has like these little strings at the back. Okay. I love this swimsuit. I can't believe I forgot I had it. I've had it forever. Oh, by the way, get into my Amazon slippers. All right, Bottega has nothing on me, okay? Tell them. <laughs> so good. All right, so head into the pool now before the rain comes again. Satisfy 